Sunday morning and it is a cold one out here this morning. Yes, indeed it is. For some odd reason my fan doesn't want to shut off today. I don't know. Sometimes I've had that issue when it's cold and it uh, needs to warm everything up before it wants to turn off the fan. And usually it fixes it by just me restarting the truck and so far I haven't been able to do that. It's restarted it a bunch of times and it still won't uh, shut off so I guess we'll drive for a little while and restart the truck again and hopefully it will uh, shut off the fan then but if not we're going to have to I guess get it looked at when we come back but other than that we're just on our way to uh, well we got three drops first one is in uh, is in uh, Calgary and then Edmonton and then uh, somewhere out there in northern uh, Alberta so we got us a ways to go yet a total of about 2100 kilometers so we'll see if they allow me to drop the last drop there I wouldn't be surprised if they would take that away from me but I guess we'll find out right I guess I have to go find out and see what happens I guess but anyways we'll make our way towards that area I'm supposed to be in Calgary tomorrow morning which I ain't gonna be there right away first thing in the morning, I know that already, so. But anyways, we'll make our way down that way and uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I am now in the area of Worden, Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. And we got beautiful sunshine out here today. We're just cruising right on through here. And my fan is still on. I stopped there earlier and tried checking everything out and I can't see anything wrong so I tapped on the clutch and everything don't seem to work so I'm not sure if my uh, sensor is shot or if the clutch is shot one of the uh, one of the two is probably shot because it's not working properly but anyways we're just cruising right on through here and We'll figure that stuff out later. But yeah. We got us another 1,031 kilometers to go till I get to my first delivery place. So we got a ways to go yet. Yes, indeed. I'm just kind of hoping it ain't going to be as cold up there in Alberta as what it is up here. That would be nice. Warm up a little bit. I would make it worthwhile. At least I would think so. Alright RJ, I know we gotta slow down over here to go through this town, but we'll be in to scratch me one here pretty soon and then we'll be uh, in Alberta before you know it. <laughs> yeah, oh well. That's where we're heading, right? Got three drops in Alberta, so gotta make our way that way well guys we are now on to scratch me one Saskatchewan yeah looks like they have gotten a little bit of snow up here as well by now I know two weeks ago or whatever when we come through here there really wasn't any snow yet at the time but hey here we are that time of the year I guess where we do have snow again and well, yeah, we got about a hundred kilometers and then we'll be in Regina, Saskatchewan. Yeah, we'll see how far I'll be able to drive tonight, but I mean, hours wise, I'll be able to drive quite a while yet, but uh, I don't know. I just don't really feel like it today, if you know what I mean. I just, I ain't feeling right. Not sure what's happening but I'm just kind of feeling lazy today I'm not sure if that makes sense but I just don't really feel energized to go but anyways we'll continue anyways and we have to if we want to be in Calgary tomorrow sometime we have to 
I mean, I don't, I got 850 kilometers to go yet to my delivery, so we're gonna have to. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's already some snowmobile uh, tracks there, so somebody's already having some fun with snowmobiling. Although I haven't seen any of them, but hey, they're probably out there in the evening cruising along and after work or whatever. But yeah, there's a double bison. But it is still very cold and it looks like it's very cold in Calgary too. I looked it up there earlier on the weather network and it is cold down there too. So. Oh well, what can you do, eh? Well guys, we are a little tiny bit past Regina, Saskatchewan now. And just before I got to Regina, my fan all of a sudden started working again. So what I'm thinking would happen, there must have been a little bit of moisture inside the uh, switch, the electronic switch, which is basically just an air controlled switch or whatever. That, is being controlled by the computer and uh, I guess the engine got hot enough or whatever to melt it and uh, just all of a sudden it started working again that makes me extremely happy 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 yes at least I won't have to bring the truck into the shop and get something done to it so yeah I'm very happy about that yeah, we got 670 kilometers behind us now, so we'll, uh, we'll continue on with our journey here. And my goal is to make it up to Madison Hat, Wisconsin. Oh, Madison Hat. Madison Hat, Alberta. That's where I want to try and make it to. Just gotta slow her down here a little bit. Supposedly they got something going on here. It's construction supposed to slow her down a little bit so I don't want to break any laws and get me fines right so may as well follow the rule that's right right after that we can get back up to speed there you go but yeah roads are good that makes me happy too uh, no complaints it is however a little bit windy but uh, yeah We'll see if we make it up to uh, Madison Hat, Alberta. Well guys, we have made it as far as Madison Hat, Alberta. Yeah, that's exactly as far as we wanted to make it. Yes, indeed we did. And it is another cold night here. I already had me a good night's sleep. I just went straight to bed yesterday when I uh, got here, so... Uh, now it's the next morning, let's take a look. Yeah, there's quite a few trucks already left this morning, so, uh, we're, you know, there's still a few trucks here, but not too many, so. So yeah, we're gonna get ready here in a minute or two, and then we'll get out of here too, so. Appreciate you guys tuning in today, and we'll see you right here on the Trucker Rudy Show tomorrow morning. So don't go nowhere. behind me that day is gonna come